Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now, the lock that you see in front of you today is a thing called the ALC Galaxy. ALC stands for Australian Lock Company. The Galaxy is the name of the lock quite obviously, there it is there, very unusual looking lock. And I can tell you without fear of contradiction that this lock is by far the most innovative and important lock so far designed in the 21st century. This is an incredible piece of design. It's a, it's a design triumph, in fact. Now, I have been studying this lock for two or three months. Uh, I am presenting a paper on it next week, in fact, in a week's time at the LockCon 2018 in the Netherlands and there will be some more videos after that. So this is not a descriptive video or a review video, folks. This one today is a picking video. Now, this lock has not been picked on camera before. As far as I know, it has been picked twice. So there are two chaps on uh, the key picking forum who have posted picked pictures of it. Nobody has picked uh, the, the thing on camera though. So. I am, as far as I know, the first to do that. You'll be seeing that in a few minutes' time. Now, um, there are a couple of things that I need to explain before I get started on this. First of all, it is a completely different looking lock and a completely different functioning lock to anything that you've ever seen. So, um, we are not going to do a pick and strip video because you cannot strip this lock. It's, it's fascinating. Um, what you can do though is remove the code bar and um, th there's a whole, this lock has a whole vocabulary of its own, okay? But this little thing in the center is the code bar and you will see me remove the code bar at the end of the picking to demonstrate that the code bar is intact and functioning and that the pins inside are intact and functioning as well. Um, you'll see me take the core out of the lock and you'll see me show that the lock is legit and that the uh, the core is legit as well. However, you won't see me strip the thing because it cannot be stripped. I, in fact, have never stripped one of these apart. I have never pulled one of these apart because you just can't. You, you, you'd have to wreck it to do it. Now, the other thing, I'm just going to briefly talk about the tools that I need to pick this lock. And uh, again, I'll go into this in an awful lot more detail later. But um, what we need is a uh, picking tool of some kind. I have used a uh, cheap Chinese pick that I was given at one stage and um, converted that basically to, to a probe. You will see that there are some blue marks on there. So um, there's some felt pen marks at 0, 4 and 8 millimeters to tell me where I am in the lock. Um, that is basically all there is to tell you about that one. Next thing that you need to know is that you need a tension tool of some kind. That is this brass tube that I've made. So um, I bought the tube. The little fin at the top here, the, the actual tension element, um, that is, <laughs> in, in the true tradition of Raimondo, um, that is a little piece of street sweeper bristle that I have silver soldered on the top here and then uh, shaped to, to fit. It's got to be a very specific width and length. It's, it's got a particular job to do. Um, then uh, we need a T-bar, so we need some way of applying tension to this little tube. That has been done, again, in the finest traditions of lock picking uh, with a piece of piano wire. So that just fits through these two holes here. So I've now effectively got a, a T-bar wrench that I can apply tension with. And the last thing that you're going to see me use here is a code bar manipulating tool. Now again, I, I won't get into the specifics of that right now, but this is simply a piece of a settle rod uh, just under six mils in diameter with a very specific uh, shaped tip here. So those are the tools. This is the lock. Uh, these are the two keys that it needs. I, I won't go into details of this funny looking one. But what I will tell you is that this one is the operating key and very clearly it operates the lock in the manner that it should. So with that preamble out of the way, let's get on with the actual picking. Back in a second guys. 
Okay folks, well we are clamped up and ready to go. We've got a fully functioning Galaxy Core there and the operating key operates the lock. So everything's there, the code bar's in place. It's a, it's a legitimate lock, simple as that. Okay, now here is the tension tool. Let's get that in. Next thing we need to do is manipulate the code bar around and get a little bit of tension on there just with my fingers until I can get this T-bar through. Okay, now that we've got that in place, we can start looking for binders. So, let's see what we got. One nothing, two nothing, three's a binder. Might mm, have that negate, we'll see. Okay, four's a binder. Kinds of trouble setting for. Okay, I think I have got four and a gate there. Okay, yeah, but we dropped three in the process. Okay. Three is now back in a gate. Four's in a gate. But everything else is springy. Okay, well that suggests to me that we haven't got this quite right. So I'm thinking we might need to go a little bit further on one of these. Okay, that's dropped three into a deeper gate. Still nothing else binding though. It's feeling better, but still nothing else is binding. Okay, falls in again. So it's one. Still good. Now we're getting somewhere. One's just starting to bind. Two just gave me a click as well. pins and gates now folks. Not convinced about three though. That feels better and a little bit of a turn on the core there. Four's 
fives the binder. A little bit more of a turn there. One's our binder now. Okay. Not far away, I think, folks. One's popped up again. Does that a lot? There we go, and we are open. If I can either get that pick out of there, it's kind of trapped in there. <clears throat> okay, so um, we have got that thing open. Now that we need to prove that we've done what we said we were going to do. Um, there is the tension wrench, I've just taken that out of there and you can see that uh, it's not a key if you, if you see what I mean. Um, we have got the code bar which is now in a position where we can take it out. So let's do that. There we go and show you that that is entire so there's nothing wrong with it it's a fully functioning code bar like so that can go back on the table next thing we need to do is demonstrate that the core is all correct as well now again we'll just keep this in shot and get that out of there Right, so here's our lock, um, just an absolutely standard ABUS 8345, and here is the core itself. Now uh, we'll just zoom in on that a little bit, and if you look in there you can see that everything is present and correct, and if I just rotate this back you'll see that we've got all those sidebar pins in there operating as they should do. So everything is there, everything is legitimate, and uh, the picking technique works. So there you go, folks. Um, as far as I know, that is the first uh, recorded pick of the Galaxy. Um, it has been picked once or twice before. Um, but again, as, as far as I know, this is the first video one. So, thanks for watching guys. My name's Michael Maynard. This is Gorilla Picking. And um, this is the ALC Galaxy, which I honestly think is the best lock platform in the world today. Certainly the best mechanical lock. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your day.